You're gonna be super jealous when you hear about this. Today is the first day of the Chinese New Year's. You can say Happy New Year because this is the year of the ox. And in Chinese, when you say cow or ox, it's new, which kind of sounds like new. So it's kind of like a cute thing everyone's doing is Happy New Year. You could put a little picture of a cow. Spring Festival or Chinese New Year is the biggest holiday in China. It's crazy, crazy, crazy huge. Today is actual New Year's Day. Last night was New Year's Eve. People do big stuff for New Year's Eve, so everything was closed last night. But look at this is nine in the morning on New Year's Day. And this giant court is almost totally full. But there's a reason why. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you can see everything here is back to normal. Um, China really was very strict about the virus and got things under control. Xiamen hasn't had a community case of COVID in, I don't even know anymore, eight, nine months. So don't feel nervous here or scared or anything about anyone being sick. Oh, wait, we're gonna go play. I totally forgot to bring my camera and my tripod and everything. I didn't think I was gonna like actually make a video today. So I don't know if I can actually film myself. The only thing I could do is put my phone against the wall, but the walls are kind of far away. So it's too bad because I'm playing pretty good today if I do system myself. If you know Chinese New Year's and you've never spent Chinese New Year's in an Asian country, you probably know, you know, the dancing lions in Chinatown and that. But Spring Festival is the largest holiday. I might, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go as far as say in the world. Um, it is the equivalent of our Western Christmas in importance. In the world's largest populated country, you can imagine it is huge. Everybody gets a week off. The holiday itself is a 15 day holiday. It's so busy and so crowded that there is actually a holiday called Chunyun, which is spring festival travel period, because there are usually about 2 billion trips this time of year, because you have to spend this holiday with your family. And many people, you know, if they work in the city, maybe they have a kid, the grandparents are raising the kid, the parents go to larger cities to work, they only see their kid like this time of year. So this is a huge, very, very important holiday. But there is a pandemic going on. And while we have not had any community cases in all of China for the past several days, there's still always a risk. And 1.4 billion people traveling there and back again, or just traveling around the country, could be dangerous. So this year, the government has asked everybody to stay put. They said, please don't go back home. To incentivize people to stay put, they're doing a lot of things. Uh, employers are paying extra money and cities like Xiamen are doing a lot of incentives. For instance, tourist places that you have to buy tickets for, uh, they have it 50% off this week. All uh, buses, subway, all public transportation is free for this week. And the government is actually um, encouraging restaurants to offer a 20% discount on meals and the city government will pay the restaurants back. Isn't that cool? That's not what you're gonna be jealous about, that I'm saving, you know, 30 cents on the subway. But this, all this, all this, free for a week. That's right, badminton is free all week. <laughs> Just not at every court. Um, a lot of courts like my court, my coach's court, are private courts. I don't even think he's open today because it is New Year's Day and you know, you're supposed to spend it with your family <laughs> and he does have a family. We might stop by his house later actually. This court and there are, I don't even know, dozens of like city courts, you know, that the, the, the city built. Uh, they are all free all week long for anyone to use. So at 9 a.m. on New Year's Day, you can see it's almost full. <laughs>
course, even though it's a holiday or because it's a holiday, it's going to be packed. And there are a lot of people that are hanging around this holiday that normally wouldn't, such as even my coach. Um, his hometown is only a three hour drive away, but it is in a different province. It's right over the border. So even he's not going home this holiday because he's just trying to, you know, respect COVID precautions. There's a lot more people in Shaman right now than there usually are. And there's a lot of badminton players in Shaman because, you know, like I said before, we are kind of known as the best city for amateur badminton players in China, which, you know, very proud of. You can see, this is one of the newest sports complexes. Uh, this building has uh, basketball, badminton, swimming, maybe gymnastics, ping pong, you know, the sports. Opened, I think, within the past year, maybe a little bit more than a year. Um, and you can see badminton hall is huge. There's two parts, each with um, 15 courts. So 30 courts altogether. I've never had a competition here. In fact, I came here the other night, two nights ago. Um, it was the first time I've ever played here. So, but it's a nice court, not my favorite, but it's nice and it's free. This is also the first spring festival that Aja and I are spending together. See, we're wearing our matching cat shirts today um, because obviously he lives in Taiwan. Of course, he wants to spend it with his family, but he would have to quarantine three weeks in Taiwan, two weeks at a hotel, like locked, not allowed to open the door for anyone or any reason. Then when he comes back to Shaman, he would have to do another three weeks of quarantine two of which the first two would also be in a hotel, which, you know, he also has to pay for. Just not worth six weeks of quarantine to see his family for a couple of days. You can't take that much time off work. So normally spring festival time is pretty quiet. I've gone to my coach's hometown a few times during spring festival and we play badminton there, but usually it's a very quiet badminton week, but I have a feeling this week is gonna be like, every day some group or someone's gonna be like, wanna play badminton, wanna play badminton. It's awesome, I think it's really cool. And I just wanted to humble brag, although this is just straight up bragging. Nothing humble about this. I get free badminton all week. Woo, woo, woo. So happy year of the ox. The ox is like a steady, you can count on the ox to like do work. That's what this kind of year is. They're saying like Chinese astrologers are saying, you know, it's a keep your head down and just plow through the year. They're not saying it's gonna be super lucky or super bad. Keep calm and carry on kind of year. So hopefully the year of the ox will bring you guys good luck and hopefully a lot more courts and it will be safe to play in every country and the pros can get back to playing safely and all the teams competing and We'll see if there's an Olympics. Aja and I, we actually have a bet. He thinks they're gonna be canceled. I think they're gonna go on. We bet a book. Happy New Year. So, Happy New Year. Huh? So, Happy New Year. Bye. See you next time on the court.